Hey everyone, welcome to another Northamptonshire career mode episode. We haven't been in very good form of late. Uh, we'll just quickly go over the fixtures and results. Uh, so you guys were last here for when we played Lancashire and uh, Leicestershire. Uh, we got absolutely um, dominated by Rashid Khan uh, in this game. Scored 88 with the bats. Felt they got far too many. They were 170 for 7. We should have rolled them for about 220, 230. But uh, Gregory and Khan, credit to them, they... Um, batted well. Uh, Makura, 4 for 43 was the standout in their innings. In response, 128 all out. Uh, Lewis Gregory, uh, who's played a little bit for England uh, in the recent tour of New Zealand in real life. He's a good player, well, up and coming player. 5 for 32 and Rashid Khan. Um, we know how good he is, 4 for 41. So that meant we were, uh, had to um, bat again. Uh, Rashid Khan, 7 for 75. Just too classy. Too many tricks up his sleeve, um, ball spinning both ways, just giving our batsmen all sorts of problems. And uh, yeah, they didn't really need too much to win. 76 for 3, the only real highlight of this little bit was fogged in 1 for 15. So in the county championship, just before we go to the 20 over um, results, we are about mid-table, we are a win ahead of uh, second last. Basically, so we just need a few draws, a few wins here and there, and we'll be all good. But we'll show the table before we start the day's games. Uh, Derby show, we played 147 for 5. We restricted them to two. Uh, we bowled pretty well. Um, Razabani, uh, 1 for 14 off uh, 4 overs. Um, outstanding uh, stuff. Good, um, solid contributions from all their batsmen. Thought it was a winnable um, chase, and again, it just crumbles completely. Adamson, 6 for 16. Absolutely uh, it's strawberry spell. Uh, so then we played uh, just previously uh, Warwickshire and they posted 175 for 6 and I thought, yeah, that's probably a bit out of our reach. Uh, no one really standing out in the bowling, really. Uh, that was a good innings from Burgess too, 81 of uh, 46. <laughs> Michael Burgess. I know Michael Burgess in real life. But any, anyhow, he got a good score there. Uh, in response, 176 before. Uh, Anthony Thor, 63 off 37. Finally delivers a performance. Anderton, good, 42 off 33. And Gunson uh, finished the innings off strongly for us. And we got another win. So hopefully we can finish the 20-over uh, trophy campaign on a high note. Get one win out of two here. will give us five wins. See how we go. Like, we have got pretty much a current form here. Uh, Zaid probably is going to get dropped um, out of the team now. We'll probably bring um, Reese Topley back in. Only thing is we've got a whole lot of bunnies uh, there. Uh, let's see. Just, no one really else took their chances just looking at the um, form book here. And we'll probably stick with that team. Uh, Rosenton probably needs to be dropped. We'll probably bring um, Vasconcelos um, in. He's only averaging 8 uh, there. But um, Vasconcelos' career is not that much better either, only averaging 12 with the bat. So, need a good start here. We'll bat first against Yorkshire. Uh, the pitch hopefully will deteriorate um, just by looking at that later on. So, we've got Richard Gray, a youngster. Let's see how his career started. He's had a good 20 over campaign. And that will continue. Uh, he's got Thor out for a duck. So, not the best of starts for the uh, Northamptonshire uh, side. Really need... Um, no, Jacks. Not good. And Anderton's gone for a golden duck. So, not performing on video. Oh, and Vince is nearly caught. Could have been 16 for 4. Come on. Show some resilience, guys. This is poor batting. It's not ideal. Oh, Gunson's found himself out as well. So, 30 for 4. I hope Vince hand handles... Well, well Vasconcelos, lost time for you to improve on that 12 average, my friend. Lovely shot from Vince. Jane, James Vince has been probably... Most consistent batsman we've had this season. Uh, been the highlights in 
between for some of the other bats, but that's not consistent enough. We have to re really rebuild this innings. He's doing it to the best of his ability. We're 67 for 4 after 13. We really have to pick it up now. We have to probably get 70 off the last 7 to get something sort of decent on the board. That's going to see a loss. He's swollen um, off the um, favourite um, batsman of late. He just hasn't scored any runs. Just run out. Oh, how's that not run out? Come on. Even though I'd like Vince to stay in, that that's out. Really. Uh, so 79 for 4 after 15. So 5 overs of absolute carnage, hopefully. Need a couple big overs. That's a couple of good, good way to start the over. And Vasconcia lost 23 of 25. He played a part, uh, let's say, just getting us sort of something to defend. We need a couple of big overs, guys. 120, 125 is not going to be enough. So, some really big hitting from Curran required. He is capable. It's a good start off the over. 10 off 2. 10 off 3 now. He's played and missed at that one. Played and missed at that one. So, this over is sort of being bought back from Carver. So, it's another 4. 106 for 5. 14 off it. So we've got 3 overs. We probably need 34. We need to get 140. Vince has gone for 49 or 47. He held the innings together as best he can. Fogged and gone for a duck. So this could be a quick possession of wickets here. Another wicket. 3 in the over. 110 for 8. Is that gone for 6? Yeah, it has. Top edge. Getting a few nicks there, uh, Karen. 117 for 9. Didn't look like we are going to post something like this. So, 122 after 19.4 overs. A, a pretty disappointing batting display. Like, there's a few guys that got going, but there's other batsmen that have got to really start putting their hand up. Just they aren't at the moment. So, got a early wicket. That's how it looks like an international. No, not. Okay. Rosabani. Who in, uh... I'll just say something about Marzabani. He's got the most 20, um, over wickets for, uh, the Northamptonshire, uh, side that come up, um, on my screen. Pretty amazing achievement. He's been a good bowler for us, uh, blessings. It's a good wee spell from, uh, Topley here. We're keeping the field up, being aggressive. Trying to get more breakthroughs. We got the key wicket, the opener. It's making this interesting. Curran to Carver. Nice, good bowling from Curran. Fogged in into the attack. Making them work for it. Got to keep the field up. Need a wicket. Got it. Thrilling stuff, making Yorkshire sweat. Just a little bit. And we've done it! We've won by two runs. I don't know how we've won that game. The bowling... Out of nowhere. It looked quite good for them, though. They had, they had that guy Fisher, Matthew Fisher, going. Uh, but, yeah, we'll pick up um, a lovely little win there. Um, Curran outstanding. Three for 17. Marzabani and Daniel come to the party at the right time as well. So we have lifted ourselves from the bottom of the table. We are 13, played 5 and 8. Another one would be nice. Uh, the top four have been decided. So hopefully um, if we're playing the top four side, which we're not, could have said they could arrest some players. Uh, probably will drop Fogden uh, now. Uh, he's had a wee bit of a run. Uh, probably will give. Uh, probably get uh, Connor McCurr in the team. Go for um, our four se five seamers and the um, spinner arm opening the batting. He's had a pretty disappointing season, Jacks, but um, hopefully he performs um, when we really need him to. We're going to bat first. Five wins in the 20 over trophy. If we can get six, it would be okay. It would be acceptable. Still, um, players are trying to find their feet at the level. It's just taking them a long time to get um, up to the level. So, Jacks.
Vince. Kingdom Press with Vince. Jax has gone for nine. So his disappointing campaign ends. Anderton's had a pretty quiet campaign. 20 over wise as well. Averaging about 21 or something with the um, bat. Anderton's had a couple of um, sort of quiet seasons actually. Like um, not the form that we've known, known from him really. Like it's okay. Like you can... Have, have a few seasons like that. He's still a quality player. He's still got a, quite a few hundreds for us. Very valuable um, cricketer to have in our lineup. Just need someone. Need a couple of players around him, really. Uh, the run rate's a wee bit slow. 62 for 2 after 11. Need to get a score at the end of the day. Vince has played quite a few deliveries. Just need him to pick up his scoring rate just a tad. Lovely shot from Vince. Big over too. We got 16 off it. Make that 22. Starting to pick up nicely. Out for 46, James Vince. Ends a pretty good campaign for him, actually. Just got to continue on where we left off. Um, these two now. Seven overs remaining. If we can get 60 off them, it's 150. Anderton gone for 30, so that ends a pretty disappointing campaign for him. Um, he, he knows himself, he's capable of a lot more. Um, getting more 40s, 50s sort of thing. Lovely shot from uh, Gunther. That gone for 6 as well. It has top edge for 6, we'll take it though. So we need a few big overs. Gunson gone for 17 off 6. Make sure we bat out our uh, 20 overs still. Just give ourselves something to defend. Don't know how we defended that last score. Like, just shows um, some of the quality bowlers that we possess. We've got, that's our strength. Our batting uh, is a, of a spark on. We've probably only got really two classy batsmen uh, really in our lineup that can really foot it um, with um, other teams. And that's Anton and Vince. And the other guys are. Contributing every now and then, but that is not consistent enough. Those two are. Unfortunately, our uh, goal getting 150 is um, well out of the picture now. We're just trying to get a score of around 120, 130, and just type our bowlers can uh, deliver. It's not going to be. An, I don't think um, this is going to be enough. Would prefer to beat this side too, because they are sitting um, below us on the table. <laughs> so this could be um, a last place finish. Um, for us. Lovely shot from McCurr. A few over the fence, maybe. They're going for six. 132 for eight. Yeah, I'll take 133 for eight. It's, it's okay. It's not um, outstanding or anything. It's just going to have to be a good bowling performance again. Marzabani. Marzabani again. Okay, two early wickets. Okay, we'll bring Karen in. Bring Connor McCurran. Okay, a couple of key wickets here. Just got to keep striking. That's the key with our bowling attack. Got to run out. Probably bring Sam Curran back. Our top will be swapped out. Daniel, keeping the field up too. We have to try and squeeze them for runs. Try and build some sort of pressure. A couple of good wickets here. 89 for 7. There is a chance. Just got to keep rotating our attack. Our top Lee. Yeah, they've done it. Good, good run chase in the end. They were composed enough. Singh, 32 of 14. What a knock. Uh, from, I was going to pick up this guy too. <laughs> <laughs> season one. He, he would have been a reasonable um, buy too, but that concludes the end of the 20 over trophy. We finish in last place in our group with uh, five wins and nine losses uh, tied with Yorkshire. Like we, 
we just need a few more batsmen stepping up, really, in that. But our, our main goal is surviving in here. So here's the table uh, for the county championship with three games remaining. I probably would say I need a draw and a, and a win. Well, two draws might see me uh, survive. And that would be good because we will get a bit more funding. I believe you get more funding in Division 1 in this game, how it works. But yeah, we've got some really important games coming up. Uh, Kent Intense Place is a winnable game, of course. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Surrey and Essex. So you'll join us for the last game of the uh, season, actually, against Essex. So hopefully you enjoyed that, guys. Like... It's it's a it's a big rebuild uh, to get this team um, to where it needs to be. It, it's still a process. We've got to get some more players developed and sort of move on some of the older fellas like Levy and Cobb and whatnot and get some real good quality youth guys. I think now, but for now, we'll catch you later.